Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect boiled fish, aka shui shu yu, the famous spicy and nummy fish soup from my hometown Sichuan. If you're new here, my name is Yi and I share easy to follow Asian recipes that you can cook at home. Today we're going to use one pound of tilapia. You can use any fish that's readily available to you, such as catfish, swai, or sea bass. So now let's get started. First, we will prepare the fish flay. Pat dry with a paper towel. Find the tail of the fish flay. Slice at an angle towards it. Keep the fish slices thin to give the best texture when cooked. Next, we're going to marinate sliced ginger and scallion with some Shaoxing wine. Mix well and set aside. Bring the sliced fish flay into a container. Season with half teaspoon salt, a quarter teaspoon white pepper powder, then drop in some of the marinated Shaoxing wine, about two tablespoons. Mix and massage well so that the fish slices fully marinate in the sauce. Drop in 1.5 tbsp cornstarch and mix. At this point, the fish flay should be slightly dry. Add 1 egg white. Egg white helps maintain the shape of fish slices when cooked, so they are less likely to break. Top with some oil, mix and set aside. Next, we're going to prepare the vegetables and aromatics for this dish. For vegetable, we have saltus. It is a traditional vegetable we use for this dish. If you can't find it, just use bean sprouts. It works perfect. We we'll have one stick of celery. Of course, you can use Chinese celery. For aromatics, we have garlic, ginger, and scallion. Chop off the leafy part of the saltus. Cut in half, then cut into slices. For the stem part of the saltus, first peel the skin, then cut into slices. Chop celery into thin slices at an angle. Now all the veggies are ready. Next, smack garlic cloves, then cut into fine pieces. Take out about 1 tablespoon for toppings later. Put the rest in a container. Next, chop ginger into small pieces. Cut scallion white and set aside with ginger and garlic. Next, we're going to prepare the knife edge chilies, which is called Dao Kou La Jiao in Sichuan cooking. We have a handful of dry chilies and two teaspoons of Sichuan peppercorn. Drop dry chilies and Sichuan peppercorn into a wok on medium-low heat. Slowly roast with a little oil. When the chilies just start to change color, transfer to a cutting board. Start chopping chilies and Sichuan peppers with a knife until they become coarse fine pieces. Set aside for later use. Next, we will stir fry the veggies. In a wok, add oil. Drop in the veggies, stir fry and season with salt. When the veggies are 80% cooked, take out and set them at the bottom of a large serving bowl. Add oil to the bulk again, drop in Sichuan chili bean paste. Stir until red oil comes out. Drop in aromatics, stir until fragrant. Adding 3 cups of stock or water. 
stir and let it boil for three to four minutes. This process is called shui zhu or water boiled. It can be used for pork, beef, or fish. Take out the solid contents with the strainer. Next, season the soup with salt and white pepper powder. Mix well. Start adding fish sizes to the soup. Use chopsticks to stir lightly so the fish sizes aren't sticking together. Fish flay will be ready in about 1 minute after the soup boils. Take out the fish with a strainer and lay on top of the veggies. Then add the rest of the soup to the serving bowl. Top with knife edge chilies and chopped garlic. Garnish with extra whole chilies. Heat oil to smoking hot and drop on top of the chilies. You should hear the sizzle. Garnish with some chopped green onion and cilantro. Now our sizzling hot Sichuan boiled fish is finished. This dish is perfect for people who love spicy hot food. Each fish flay is covered with hot chili oil when taken out of the soup. Alright guys, now our favorite part is the taste test. This is the most authentic Sichuan dish you could make. You can tell from all the knife edge peppers we put on here, it smells so crazy. It's like very aromatic. So now let's give it a try. Wow, the fish just melts in my mouth and follow that, it's the spicy and numbing flavor from the chilies. It is so tasty, everything is here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment if you have any question or just want to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you next time.